Hey guys, it's your Coach Day here, Coach Dave here, and happy Labor Day. I'm coming to you from my barbecue outside, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about your nutrition today and the importance of planning ahead and prepping your food in advance and making it in bulk. I always say the five P's, proper planning prevents poor performance. And if you wake up every single day and you said, you know what, I'm just going to eat something. I'm going to buy something at work today, or I'm just going to, you know, try and make a sandwich today. Uh, uh-uh. Life gets in the way. And if you don't plan ahead and you don't in fact plan ahead for your meals through the week and make it in bulk, you're setting yourself up for failure because today life is busy, kids, activities, work, and everything going on. So this is what I have going on just to show you guys. I had three packages of grilled chicken, um, some are on my barbecue, and I literally took the three packages, okay, and I'm putting them on my barbecue. Now guys, this is the trick here. You can make healthy food taste good. So I simply used Italian seasoning, I used Italian seasoning, um, and I used some garlic powder. And that's what's all that's on here. Where it gets dangerous, guys, is when you, in fact, start frying your food or you have chicken cutlet with breadcrumbs. It is not necessary to, in fact, having to, to do that. If you use some good seasoning, okay, if you use some good Italian seasoning, you can, in fact, make healthy food taste good. So this is simply grilled chicken. Why grilled chicken? It's a great lean protein source, um, grilled chicken. Um, and it's a great thing that's going to help you with gaining lean muscle growth, help you lose some weight. You can put it in salads. You can have it with, say, brown rice. You can have it with a vegetable. But this is what's so great um, about chicken, and you can make it taste good by simply, by simply adding some spices to it. Now, the key is, guys, look at how much I'm making here. This is for my wife and I for probably until the weekend. And what we'll do after, in fact, it's done and made is I will put all of the chicken in Tupperware, okay? I'll put all the, uh, the chicken in Tupperware so in the morning I can grab and go. I can grab and go. There is no time wasted um, with me trying to think about what to eat and I have healthy food prepared in advance. In advance. So that's what the great thing is about planning. And I'm going to jump in my kitchen real quick and show you. I think my wife is actually on a live video and show you guys um, what she has cooking and how she's planning ahead so you can keep your food in order. So here I have the heat, just so you know, chicken. It's kind of on medium heat right now. It's in the barbecue range, 300 degrees. Um, let me walk in my house. There's my one-year-old Harbor. Hey, bud. Hello, buddy. Um, he wants to go in. Go ahead. So let's go. Uh... Oh. And there's my really? wife. She's she's live too. Really? 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 See, I showed them the barbecue, and now you're in the kitchen. Oh my god, I can't. See, we're both live. But I want to show you what my wife has going on here because hey, I. Hey, really? I, I I really I'm doing it too with you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so he's live too. Really so I'll we're talk dorks. low. Okay. We're really dorks, but we have it. So there's some so, broccoli no, I can't made in the week. You need to go out. Okay, I'll be quick. Broccoli. Eggplant, that's egg muffins. I'll talk to him about outside. He's saying it's eggplant. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. What was it? Squash, right? It's spaghetti squash. Okay, and I'll talk about that because I know what that is. And that's spaghetti, that's spaghetti okay, squash. Like really okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I invaded her bowl kitchen and uh, I don't know how much she liked that. So, coming back out here, the things you saw. <laughs> The things you saw in the kitchen for my wife, she had egg muffins. That literally is just like taking, like you're making scrambled eggs. Um, and she put them, if you're just joining on now, you have to rewind because <laughs> she was on her live video showing everybody and I jumped and invaded. So in her, in her, um, in the muffin, in the muffin tins or like in your cupcake tins, you pour in like your, your egg, your egg yolk, like you're making scrambled eggs and then you put it in the oven. And you bake it. I think she does it at about 350. And then you'll have, in fact, egg muffins. You could put them in a Ziploc or a Tupperware um, container and have them to grab and go during the week as an extra piece of protein. She had broccoli. She roasted broccoli um, with some seasonings in the oven. Had that in advance. Those jars, love it. Those are like, that's oatmeal, right, with berries and some almond butter. You make the oatmeal 
and then in fact, um, after you make the oatmeal, you can put the berries in, and then you put the almond butter in, and then you put it in the refrigerator and you have it cold. It's delicious. So that's kind of, oh, and then, then you saw the squash, spaghetti squash. That's cutting out the inside of the squash and shredding it, and then putting it back in the middle with a little bit of cheese, and then again, roasting it again. I think a lot of it she added about 350 degrees. So the key really, guys, um, is to, and who is that? Vivian, I, I don't know my glass. I think that's it. Was Vivian or a Vivian? Yes. Um, the fish, fish is very good as well. That's, I always say lean proteins. Fruits, vegetables, healthy fats, lean proteins, whole grains. So in fact, she, um, she has, um, I have the chicken here and fish is a lean protein. So guys, the key again is planning in advance, making it in bulk, having it for the week so you're ready to grab and go. So guys, I'm gonna go back so I don't burn all my chicken. And you guys, I'm actually gonna come later on and talk to you guys about something that I just couldn't believe happened today about a vision I had from a couple years ago. And I'll talk to you guys later. So stay tuned and look for me to come back on. Bye-bye.